Hello, this is Jan from JC Web Tech. I create videos with tips and tricks for WordPress and web design in general. And today I will show you how to build cards like this properly in Elementor. Now uh, we are in version 3.15 ish and uh, finally we have these loops inside of uh, Elementor Pro. And so a lot of people might be building these kind of cards for their custom post types or just uh, post types like posts. And but it doesn't necessarily need to be a dynamic content. It also might be like some uh, features or products on your on your page that you want to present in form of these cards and links to specific pages. And I will show you how to do it properly because you might, uh, you are probably when you are watching this video, you are facing some of these challenges, which is how to keep the image with constant aspect ratio without cropping manually all the images to uh, uh, some specific aspect ratio. Then how to keep the cart or the, all the cards the same height, which would be the maximum height of the tallest card, depending on its content. And then when you achieve that, how to align the buttons always on the bottom, because here it's it's visible, but like to prove you that it's not just statically set. If I put more content here, all the buttons will follow down. So yeah, I'll show you very quickly on these cards, like what I did here to, to achieve this. And then also I will completely rebuild the card for you to be able to follow every single step. So let me hop into Elementor. You can see here it's not working. It's not stretching the card, but yeah, it's just because it's not, it's a little finicky, but on the front end, th this looks like this. So first thing first is the image. You have this setting here of height, but it's always somehow static height even the percentages. Don't forget the percentages of like the, the height of that image, not percentages of the relative to the width. So there is currently no way to do it this responsive, which what I'm talking about is that when you start shrinking, you see that the aspect ratio is always constant. It's not like it will change with stretching it. It will be always the same. So how I achieve this is uh, with custom CSS. It might be eventually somewhere here in future versions probably like aspect ratio and uh, you'll be able to set it to cover. Right now we need to do it with custom CSS, which is essentially the same. So you put selector to select that widget and image to select that image inside of it. And we literally say that aspect ratio is 16 to nine. You can tweak it to like 11 it would be taller, looks even better. We'll stick to that and uh, object fit cover you may it's, it behaves the same like on backgrounds so if we don't set it it will shrink the image while cover it will like keep its own size and just crop this and not squish the image which is what we usually want so that's for image uh, title we are just dynamically pulling the title if you are using dynamic data, data, you do that. If not, you don't. Here, uh, you are using uh, post uh, excerpt. And uh, so again, dynamically uh, pulling in data. And here I, I just discovered, I didn't know, something I didn't know about is that you can select the post excerpt widget, but then you can apply it to post content. So, and you can also limit its length. So I'm limiting it to 18 words and it pulling it from here, from the content, not from the excerpt. You can see, I don't even have it filled in. So it's something I didn't know about. That's quite neat. And maybe it's new and yeah, I'm obviously in the advanced. I'm adding the three dots after to 
make the I think it's called ellipse and yeah so that's for it's for that and how am I making the card full height is that again there's no setting or if there is let me know in the comments but uh, I didn't make it work any of the setting of Elementor so I'm again setting it uh, to height 100 percent and yeah this this only works with the when you are using the containers if you are using the old rows and columns thing uh, it's a little bit more complicated because there is more wrappers around it so a little disclaimer but if you are using the I think to enable the loops you even need to enable the the container so and yeah we are we are in 2023 20, in the end, so hopefully now going forward everybody's on board with the containers. I have a, by the way, amazing video explaining it, uh, how it works, that will bring you from being super confused to being very comfortable with it in like 20 minutes, so go check that out. And yeah, so I'm setting the height of the main container to 100%. And then also in a container inside. So in case you have this kind of card that needs the inner content having uh, grouped and with a padding around, you do the same custom CSS selector height 100%. And that's the, so that's the second part of the magic. And third part is uh, the button and we also need to give it custom CSS because we can actually apply uh, margin auto on it but it will not apply it on the main on the parent div it will for some reason be applying it on like first descendant of the uh, I'll show you what I mean on the in the inspector so we have the button, but the button has uh, well multiple wrappers. And if I apply it in the UI, it will apply it to the first one, not to the parent, to the, like the first descendant. So we need to apply it to the parent. So that's why we again need to do it with custom CSS. Again, the selector margin top auto and so uh, the I think the, the we would also need to set margin bottom zero, but it's it's set automatically. Maybe I'll just just to make sure I'll put it there. Um, um, zero, just to make sure if Elementor changes something in the future, and that's what it does. Is like how to explain it is that basically. Although like, although these all these elements are stacking from top to bottom, it's telling that this element has to keep zero space behind it and is free to add any space on top of it that it needs. That's what's that's exactly what we need so that when this when this element is stretching, this continues adding space, the button continues adding space on top of itself and stays uh, stays zero from the bottom. And that's exactly what we want. So yeah, that should be that should be it. And one last important thing to, to keep in mind for this to work, this magic with the button. Uh, you need to make sure that you have the column vertical in the set to vertical because you will still have the same layout if you set it to horizontal and wrap but the button wouldn't behave this uh, this way so you need to have uh, vertical and don't set wrap and also I ran into this little issue that I actually had to explicitly on mobile set it to no wrap because Elementor was for some reason pushing their wrap property and it would scooch the content outside. But it's not really related to like this tutorial. It's more of like 
a bug, I suppose, but you may run into it here. So as I promised, I will I will get my hands dirty and rebuild the cart to prove you that uh, I'm not skipping any uh, anything here. So yeah, let me uh, save and go back to the main template. I will pull in the loop grid. Query posts uh, and we start. So first we need an image. It could be a normal image, but I will go directly with the featured image. Cool. And I'll give it the CSS. Uh, it is this one. Then I will give the wrapper background color. I'll just go whatever, something light. Now I need, uh, I'll use post title, could be title. I'll use post title. Oh my God, it's huge. I want something way smaller. 18 and let me first show you how would it be if we had no wrapper around the content so uh, post excerpt and here is the magic that I told you before let's apply it on the content length let's go at 16 this time and button Style it really, really, really quick. Border at least border, border radius, whatever, and center it. Cool. And uh, and let's give. Uh, yeah, let's let's stick with this for now. And. Uh, update it yeah so here you here you can see the problem the height is different for every card and yeah the 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 button is on the bottom but it's just because it's it's the different it's still the different height so let's fix the height and when CSS Selector height hundred percent update and here we go. It's now you have same height but the button is wherever it is. So we give the button what it needs to get, which is selector and margin top auto to keep adding any space necessary and margin bottom zero. Refresh. And now it's aligned. Like this would work. Obviously, it doesn't work in this design. But if you had no, if you di didn't need any padding around this content here, you would be done. Uh, but I will. I'll go. Go ahead and add one more wrapper, one more container, which is uh, yes, full width, min height, nothing of none of that. But I need to set it to, or it's better to set it to vertical. No, I need to set it because the button will be inside. So I need to set it to vertical and no wrap. Advanced 
and selector at one hundred percent. Make it tidy, and we put the things inside. It's better to do it here in the navigator. Cool. Let's center this and container and set it some padding. Let's give 24 pixels. Now it's too much space on top, so we remove the gap from here. Uh, yeah, this, is, this doesn't have the dynamic link, but that's not the point today. So, so yeah, we are done here. I forgot to add the dots, these dots here, but it's fine. Might not even be your case. Uh, update. And voila. These are the old ones, but these are the new ones. Constant aspect ratio, header, uh, and uh, the button always in the same position. Here we actually got lucky and we have always the same amount of lines, but look, like here when the text starts breaking, like this one has already four, this is David Tree and it all keeps working out. There probably be some huge styling on. No, it's not. Okay, so it would be some big font on the set on the on the smaller breakpoint, but it's not. Uh, it's fine. So yeah. Ah uh, yeah, no, it's it's there. We ignore ignore that part. But it even makes it more visible that uh, it's all working out. Yeah, and here, here is the issue. Here is the issue with the wrap. So I need to go back and set the parent to no wrap. Let me also set the the styling. But so it's not broken. But the point was in the in setting the no wrap yeah because the content actually was like scooching here so now it's now it's nicely below where it where it belongs so so yeah and uh yeah here we can see a little issue that in the new ones the the images are not stretching fully so let's fix that. Uh, it's 100% could help. So yeah, so you, I hope you found this useful and yeah, if you, uh, you notice that I'm using some custom CSS here, if there is something uh, that you don't need CSS and you can just do it in uh, somehow, if I missed some setting in Elementor that you can do it there and no need to use custom CSS, uh, well, let me know, I didn't find it. So with this. Uh, see you in the next video.